hello and salutations. So here, this is my fifth um, installment of my thrall wheel testing. And um, it's also going to be a wish list video now that I, I kind of have full comprehension of all the mechanics that are in play with these wheels of pain. I call them thrall wheels, but they're wheels of pain. So you basically have a small, medium, and large, and you, uh, um, and they're, they, they really the only difference between all three of them is this one holds one, your medium holds four, and your greater or large wheel will hold eight. But there are no advantages based off of which wheel it is. Like you don't get a bump, bump. Like there's not a 10% bump for having this and a 20% bump for having this. They're all they're all the exact same in how fast they break thralls. It's it's a it's a standard platform. And now having said that, I feel based off the material expense and the upgrade in, in equipment, because if you're a pro, my logic is, is if you're a pro athlete and you have better equipment, it aids in your training value. It aids in your progression through your training. You know, you have better gym equipment, better weights, more accessibility to, to a variety of equipment. You excel quicker through your training and your end goal of whatever you want to achieve so with that logic if you if you bump up to a medium wheel you should pick up a percentage like 10 percent for example that's not really for me to say what the total output is that's more for the developer to come up with their solution and then once you bump up for the greater wheel you pick up let's say 20 percent okay so so 10 percent and 20 percent for having it, you know moved up because the downside is as you have these larger wheels you also become a bigger target and you have to you have to fortify those wheels inside of structures and people know that there are wheels in there and then you're current you're mass producing thralls and so those become targets where these little ones you can hide and so there there is a negative to being to being having these capabilities of, of production so that's my first topic. The second piece is it doesn't matter what food you put on these thrall, uh, thrall wheels, wheels of pain. The, the, the only difference, so you have, you have low, medium, and high grade food. And I could put low grade food and they'll all train at the exact same speed, which, which is it. my logic is, is if you're a pro athlete, and you feed that pro athlete the best food like salmon and chicken, they're going to see substantial gains over somebody eating Taco Bell, um, you know, or Pizza Hut. So th the logic is, is if you feed them high grade food, they'll pick up a higher percentage of how fast it takes them to break. So let's say I, I take this medium thrall wheel and hypothetically let's say I get a 10% bump for having a medium thrall wheel and then if I put medium grade food I pick up another 10% which is a total of 20 but if I put up high grade food I pick up the 10% for the wheel and 15% for the high grade now if I use the greater wheel I'll get 15% for the wheel and then if I use high grade food, I'll pick up another 15%. So that, that's kind of my logic. And really it's not for me to say what the percentage is, but it, it no, uh, now that I've kind of gotten into all the mechanics, I'm realizing in some aspects, the thrall wheels are lacking in depth. You know, they, they with that increase in material cost, there should be a slight manufacturing bump on how fast it turns out thralls based off of the size of the wheel and the type of food that you're feeding. It should be a bump for food and it should be a bump for size. And if that's why it, it, it causes you to go out and get those premium, it causes you to go out and get those premium um, materials because, I'm tired of looking at that, um, and harvest those very niche 
kind of like honey gruel or whatever you want to put on there and that that continues the play loop right because you're now you're harvesting stuff to get that bump but if you can just throw whatever on there a bunch of you know rotten meat or i'm mean, not gonna take rotten meat but you know like like the most generic food that you can find anywhere um then there's no there's no replayability loop and the the way the way to keep people in the game is through playability loops and i know that's something they've been talking about recently is playability loops but by adding a percentage bump on these thrall wheels and then making it to where food is relevant uh you continue that playability loop and that improves the game significantly and this is just one aspect that needs to be tailored just a little bit and it'll improve the the outcome of the game significantly because this game is really at its core like it doesn't matter what gear you have it doesn't matter what armor you have or are the type of building it's all about the thralls the thralls are the most important mechanic of this game through your progression and your ability to manufacture make armor it's all about the thralls you know and the tier four and the name thralls like that's that's really what this is about and so that's why this is kind of a wish list is it needs there needs to be a rework and come, kind of come back and tailor some of this stuff because it would be a, a significant improvement so uh tell me what you guys think about my recap if you agree or disagree uh yeah, i may end up making this video twice because of the first one i was rambling too much trying to kind of get my head wrapped around the percentages but um I was actually kind of surprised that there wasn't any difference and that it was as sterile as it was like they I was like really there's they don't do they're just hold more people okay wow you know um I really thought there was an additional bump um but yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe